back guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming and welcome back to the Reassembly Tournament 7 Part 2, the Battle Cruisers. I am thrilled. We have about 60 competitors, which is a little bit more than what we had for the gunship competition. Super exciting. Um, and uh, again, you know, just really fascinating designs and a couple surprises in here. I'm not going to go, we're not going to look at them too hard because I, I want it to be a surprise when they come up because some of them just made me really, really happy. <laughs> So we're gonna get started right away. So we've got the Vindicator versus iBlob Touch Sniper. Um, you can pretty much guess what iBlob Touch is. <laughs> he is a Faction 4 sniper. Very similar to the kind of sniper that you'd see in a fact in a dreadnought competition. And in case you're just sort of tuning into these tournaments, we are we now have a section of the dreadnought competition that excludes faction four. Wow, what's going on? Why is it? it looks like it's lagged out. I'm just gonna speed this up because uh weird looked like it lagged out a little bit there but uh, yeah we now have the limited dreadnought competition that excludes faction four um faction four is allowed in all of the other competitions except for the dreadnought competition now the reason that is and why we didn't do that for the gunships and for the battle cruisers and speaking of the battle cruisers this is my favorite one of all of these battle cruisers because it's really it is a total crapshoot in a lot of ways um the ai the combination of the ai doing all sorts of crazy stuff and ships not really sorry i thought he almost took him all it took him out in one shot there but uh Faction 4 sniper ships are really, really, really good in the Dreadnought competition. They suck in the gun gunship com competition. But in the Battle Cruisers, it can go either way. I, you know, you never really know. So that's why I kind of like the Battle Cruisers because it's like that with all of the different types of ships. There is no one type of ship that always wins. It's always kind of, it's, it's really, it's up to design. Although in this particular case, it looks like the sniper is going to take it, but I guarantee you there will be a fast ship that does something to take out that sniper in a couple shots. Well, maybe not. I mean, it, I mean, it is a good design. It looks like a really good sniper design for, for the cruiser competition, battle cruiser. It seems like a really good design. Did a lot of damage, 43,000 points. <laughs> All right, so now we've got the Vindic... Oh no, so that was the Vindicator. Sorry, you're out of the competition. Whoa, Snipe Star, amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, amazing ships often look crazy uh and it's totally different from what he and so it is a faction four too as well wow so here comes another faction four we are seeing a lot of faction four in the cruiser part of the competition already whoa look at that look at the colors look at that so we've got sir boom a lot in his uh usual a uh, very highly maneuverable ship very different though in a lot of ways like it looks different looks like he's lo got a little bit different armor configuration than what he usually has and we he's facing uh, Frostflight in the Thespian, the Thespian, which is a actor, I guess. I don't know. He's maybe he's pretending to be something he isn't. Who knows? Uh, anyway, really neat. He looks like he's got some. Either they are animators or they're. I'm not sure what they are in the front there. Uh, they could be proton beams. I'm not sure. But it looks like he's got some schmutz launchers on there, some missiles, a nice, well balanced ship, and that's usually what tends to come out on top in the battle cruiser competition is more balanced ships that are really good at dogfighting and dodging and stuff um whereas sir boomalot ship is of course really super fast leaving awesome trails look at that it's really cool um i'm not quite sure what kind of weapons he has i'm not seeing his weapon loadout oh he's got uh missiles looks like missiles missiles and drones maybe hard to tell um he's kind of doing the dance he's doing some dodging but not enough to dodge thespians overwhelming uh, amounts of missiles and stuff like that so yeah uh, definitely banshee is way faster and be really good at chasing down runners <laughs> but uh yeah ban oh banshee rammed him to death <laughs> wow maybe that was the tactic all along well done well done we're just gonna speed this one up i'm gonna try to keep this at speed too i kind of forgot for the gunships it's a little bit different for the gunships because they already move really fast not to say that the resolution is always super fast but uh with, uh, with these ones, the, the battles tend to go on a little bit longer, and even more so for the Dreadnoughts. The battles can just last quite a while, and of course, we don't have all day. Well, maybe you guys do, but I don't. <laughs> uh, this is the second tournament I'm running today. Usually, I split up the tournaments a little bit more, but uh, today we're doing the Battle Cruisers right after the gunships. Um, oh, and of course, there's Camel 5. There's a surprise. <laughs> 
Uh, he is, uh, that's quite the ship. It, 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 we've seen a version of this before, and it looks like he's maybe added a little bit of shielding to the front. I, I'm sorry, I didn't even see who he was fighting. I'm so sorry. That was Annie by 111-TTTTT. Sorry, Annie, uh, you you are facing one of the most formidable opponents uh, that we've seen here in Reassembly. So, you know, give yourself some credit. It, it is There is a little bit of a luck thing here when you're doing bracket competitions because you're not fighting everybody. You're just fighting certain people. Ooh, this looks nice. Nice little dogfight. Uh, the Wacko is asking... Uh, sorry, I'm just watching some of the chat here. Asking if there's any other way to watch this. Yes, absolutely. On YouTube, because we this is on YouTube. If you're watching this, odds are you're probably watching it on YouTube. Oh! Ouch, ouch, ouch. That was nice. So Ripley is a uh, returning competitor, or RIP. He, the, he's made variants of this ship all along, and uh, they tend to do very well. Uh, and Cruiser M M2, I'm not sure who that is. It's a really unique looking design. It looks kind of Star Destroyer-ish. Looks really neat anyway. I, I like it. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. I wonder if... It looks familiar somehow, but it looks really neat. Really neat. Anyway, so... Uh, lots of missiles. Lots of nice, well-balanced -bal ships. Looks like they're full Navy Faction 1. I don't know. Looks really good. So yeah, I'm going to speed this up a little bit because I don't think that's going to change the physics of this particular battle too much. Looks like Rip is, is doing twice as much damage as Cruiser. Maybe Cruiser just doesn't have quite as much firepower as Rip. It looks like Rip also has some lasers in there too and some big old, big old rail guns or something. <laughs> Can never, you know, like, ugh, can't beat that, right? Oh, wow, look at the range. Yeah, those are the missiles. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Well done, Rip. All right, so now we're on to the bigger star by Jarl's Law and Brother Ethan. Brother Ethan the Shrimp, Mark II by Biothief. Biothief always does these kind of, I always equate them to kind of looking aquatic. Look, it even looks like it's got little antlers, like it's like it's a water beetle or something. I don't know, I, I just, I, I like his designs. They're just, they're very uh, re refreshing. And then you've got the bigger star by, uh, by Jarl's Law. And he is, I didn't really get a good ship. Oh, or good look. He's in a, looks like an Aldervan type ship. Big missiles. That's the thing with the Aldervan ships. Or maybe it's not Aldervan. It looks like, the missiles look like they're Aldervan. <laughs> slow and lots and lots of damage. The problem is, um, they're too slow. A lot of times they don't hit. Oh, weird. Looks like they're not even getting close enough to, because usually the missiles from the uh, Crystal Race, they, and it does look like the Crystal Race. It looks like, Usually they do a little bit of area effect damage, which kind of penetrates underneath the shields and can cause just havoc. Problem is they're just so slow. I would love to see a good crystal ship design um, because they, they're hard to make. They are very, very hard to make. Oh, man. <laughs> and, but you know what? Oh, no, no. He just looks like... Uh, Bio Thief is going to take it. He's, he's going to he's gonna steal it from the bigger star for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just... He's able to dodge the shots, and it's, you know, no fault to yours, Bigger Star. It's just, it's it's hard to make a good crystal ship design. All right, Troy Class Annihilator. Ooh, that looks interesting. What does he got there? Oh, those are all drones, like a row of drones launching off the side. That's pretty cool. And you're facing Dynamo Sunshine. I, yeah, please include your name in the, your Steam name in beside your, in your ship name. That way I can actually call you out. Uh, or not call you out, but... <laughs> Announce oh what? He's using some kind of oh uh, I forget what weapon that is that fires in all directions at the same time. It's a faction one weapon, I believe. But it looks like uh, Troy class and Ireletter splashed it, like little splashes or something. I don't know. Crazy. Very cool. Lots of missiles, holy crap. And drones. Oh wow, yeah, see, I forget what uh, what the name of that weapon is, but it fires in all directions. It uses a ton of power. I found that uh, weapons like that were really good for fighting against the, the plants that fire at you and stuff in the campaign. Um, yeah, but in a battle like this, I don't know, because you got to get really close. I suppose if you had a ship that had really good engines and armor, but you know, if you have really good engines, you probably don't have... I don't know. You have to be really fast and be able to keep up, get close to the enemy to, to use that kind of weapon effectively. And even then, you're kind of wasting 
uh, a lot of those shots because there's no way that they're all going to hit at once. Good. I, they might be a good point defense weapon. I don't know. I have no idea. You still won. So I guess if you win, then who cares how you win, right? Uh, we're going to speed it up just a bit here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Otherwise, this is going to be a long, long video. And I'm sure the gunship, I haven't, of course, uh, posted the gunship video at the time of recording this. So, But I'm sure the gunship video was at least an hour. I am sure. And I'm sure that this one's going to be at least an hour. As we go through uh, every one of these competitions every month, now they just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. We just get more people. Look at him! It's just tearing apart. Oh, Dynamo Sunshine, he's lost that. Oh, wow! Brilliant! I did not expect that. Troy Klassena, I thought Donimo Sunshine was gonna be was gonna beat you, but uh, no, you you got it. Well done. Lap apps now in the Veil Piercer. Ooh, very shiny. And the Doomster. Well, look at that! Look at the pink, pink and green. It looks kind of bug like. Wow! Look at all the schmutz. Amazing. Oh, very nice. Look at that. That is a cool looking ship. Look at those asteroid uh, engines in the back. Schmutz. He's got like an alpha schmutz strike. I love it. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh! Is that faction seven, maybe? I think that's faction seven. No, it's faction two. It's faction, faction two. Yeah, yeah, totally. Totally is. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. I think. Just take a closer look. No, it's faction seven. I don't know. I can't tell. I'm not going to field guess. Uh, but all I know is it's got schmutz launchers, and I'm pretty sure that faction, faction two has schmutz launchers. And Faction 1 has uh, Schmutz Launcher. Maybe Faction 7? I don't think so. But who knows. Uh, well done, Lap Apps Now. I'm, I'm really surprised, actually. I thought all those Schmutzes was going to uh, schmutzify you. All right, so we have Inferno Shaky Box. Oh, here we go. Shaky Box kind of got knocked out of the uh, first round, or the gunship competition, very, very quickly by Camo 5, which was really unfortunate. Because look at those engines. Look at how quickly. Look at them dodge. Look at that. It's like magic. When you get so many engines on your ship, you start to move. You almost, you almost shake, right? Uh, in, like shaky box. You almost shake, and you are fighting Jet. And I don't know who Jet is, but uh, it looks like a Jet, and he's got an asteroid uh, engine in the back. Lots of people using asteroid engines lately, which is interesting. Um, and yeah, but he, shaky box was literally dodging your missiles. And when you have that many engines on your ship, that's what happens. You did. It's almost like you vibrate out of the way. Look at that. It's so fluid. Like, he's, even those fast missiles, like, he's just like, oh, dodge, 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 parry, pirouette, parry, turn, double turn, a spin, rip off half your half your wing, and then come back around, and then hit you in the butt. It's amazing. Uh, really awesome. Well done, Shaky Box. I think you've got it. I'm going to speed it up. Well, you may not have it. No, there you go. You didn't need to speed it up. Brilliant. Well done. Okay, so now we're on to Ethan... Uh, 125, hashtag plus, versus Nuclear Frazzle, Derpy. Oh, this is Derpy Rich, yes. Uh, or uh, uh, he wants to be called something else. I forget what it is. But anyway, uh, really neat. Look at how he's got his engines configured. It almost looks like an insect, right? It looks really cool. It looks really, really cool. Ooh, almost looks like it wants to turn into a spinner. Um, and then, of course, Ethan is a Faction 4 sniper ship. I bet a lot of people are putting a lot of a lot more faction four into the cruiser battle cruiser competition just because um, they wanna they really wanna make use of their faction fours. Uh, but we haven't excluded faction fours from any of the other parts of the competition. We've just added another tournament that just doesn't have faction four. So, wow! Look at all the damage. Or you think that would do a lot of damage? But maybe that that sniper gun just doesn't do a lot of as much damage as most sniper guns. Cause he look at direct hits and it didn't tear him apart. That's amazing. Uh, usually, whoa, something just big, ex something big exploded there. Those nukes, what? What's going on here? Oh, Frazzle is launching nukes. I didn't even notice it. How could I have not noticed the nukes? It's a faction seven nuker. I didn't even notice it. Oh man, oh, I see. I think the goal was to build a ship that was really highly maneuverable that launched nukes. And uh, sorry, I didn't. For some reason, I didn't even notice the Faction 7 nuke there. Crazy. Uh, that's so cool. That is so cool. But I don't think it's fast enough to, to dodge effectively. That's the thing. Um, I think you, just something about the way the engines were configured at the beginning, it just couldn't dodge it. You won it anyway. You nuked him. Unbelievable. Wow. See, that's the thing with the Battle of the Cruiser competition. Anything can happen. There is... 
I can't predict any of these fights. Sunny Set, Sunny Set did very well in the gunship competition. I was very impressed. And we've got the starship, uh, the starship Voyager. Look at that! Oh, brings warmth to my heart when I see designs like that. Once again, if now we're going to be voting just like we did with for the gunship competition. I want you guys to vote on who you think had the most unique and cool ship. Doesn't have to be pretty; it just has to be unique in some way that you think is unique and cool. Wow! Did he? Wow, that was amazing. I, I I'm rooting for Voyager because I like the Voyager. But Sunny said, Sunny said, I just want to say something about his ships, his or her ships. I'm not sure if it's he's a he or she, but he. Wow, he's got uh, big antimatter guns in there. Oh, it's an antimatter ship! Amazing. Looks like he's he's got, he's designed like a runner. But um, anyway, he I did not expect his ships to do so well, but they just they blew blew it away um, in the gunship competition. They didn't he didn't win or anything, but he did very very well in the gunship competition. And it looks like he may do the same here. Those are all mines. He's using mines too. Crazy! We're seeing stuff that's never been used before, or not used often. Anyway, failure vid videos uh, looks like a spinning ship, but it is not a spinning ship. Really bizarre. Looks uh, I can't even tell what's on it. That's really cool. And Sunlu, wow, that looks like a little hammerhead shark almost. Like it looks, it looks like a spaceship. It does. It looks like a spaceship. It looks like you know you've got that wide command center in the front, and uh, yeah, it looks really really cool. I like it. That looks neat neat neat. Um, and then failure videos, that looks bizarre and UFO-ish, like, is it symmetrical? It might not even be symmetrical. Uh, I think it is. I, I couldn't tell you what faction it is. Maybe faction seven? <laughs> Amazing one sent me a key uh, so that I, it would help me in identifying. I think I'm getting better at identifying them anyway, but uh, I'm not sure exactly. Oh, that is a B faction, I think, because it's got laser drones. I think. I think. It's hard to tell because you can't see the inside of that ship. The only other... I think there's only two races with laser drones. I think it's just the bees. Yes, that's the bees. The bees... Well, the Borg also have it, but the Borg is unplayable, so it would not be allowed in the competition. Really interesting. So this this is a, this is a battle for points. Yeah. Failure videos won it by points. So just those little bee drones are getting in there and doing enough damage. I don't know. It's ultralight destroyer. I see what you're, where you're going. You're just trying to make a really fast ship with little tiny weapons that just runs up and applies a whole bunch of damage. The problem is, um, failure videos. His his ship here, drone blade, is uh, it's just it moves too quick. Look at it roll. Look at it, it's rolling. That's amazing. So every all the crew on the ship are actually plastered to the wall when that happens because of the cent centrifugal force. Everybody's just plastered on the wall. <laughs> They're like, stop spinning! <laughs> awesome. Yeah, really well done. Um, so, I, But I think Failure Videos is going to win it. Just uh, He's using the old tactic of launching those bee drones and running. It's actually technically a runner. Um, it's maybe not as fast as a regular runner, but it is running and it's dodging. Um, so well done. Ultralight Destroyer, I like where you're heading with that, but uh, you just couldn't apply enough damage. Really cool. So now... Oh. I'd like to take a closer look at Failure Video Ship. I think that's all engines on the inside there. Okay, so we have Excalibur in the black ship. The black ship. And the Awesome Will in. It's not T. It's a banana. I mean brick. I think he's confused, but that's okay. We love you, buddy. Uh, your ships are awesome. Um, you obviously put a lot of thought into it. Why is... How can you not be destroying Excalibur? Is Excalibur... How, how can Excalibur not be dying? He is taking damage, but very, very slowly. Uh, weird. How can he not be dying? Isn't that a faction? I think that's the Crystal faction, which just has really a lot of hit points. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it just has a lot of hit points on those, those parts. But I didn't think it had that many, like... I mean, he's taking damage, but... Crazy, yeah. I guess he is taking quite a bit of damage. They're not that far from actually knocking out some of your very important weapons too, as well. And those drones are getting in there, starting to eat. Oh no, no! But you did a lot of damage. Wow, you did a lot of damage to the Awesome Will. Um, I think the only way to way to beat these troll ships like that is to get around and attack it from the other side, though. So it's almost it has to be almost an AI fluke. You know, like we saw with the gunship competition where you've got, if you've got a round ship, 
if your ship is round, you'll kind of bounce and roll off the edge and go around to the back of the ship. It's, it's kind of a way to trick the AI because otherwise the AI just wants to fly up and fire all its guns. And that doesn't really work against these types of ships. And especially, you know, like if I was if I was managing these ships, I would be using these guns to take out their guns too. Like I'd be firing at those little drone launchers. Like why wouldn't you do that? Anyway, uh, really, I like your ship Excalibur. Black looked really cool. I took a lot of damage before I went down. All right, so we've got uh, Shades Cloud. Holy crow! Wow, both faction four, but Shades. Oh man, that was so cool. And then, wow, look at that. Look at the way that. It's moving so fast, like for a Faction 4 ship to be moving forward that quickly, usually Faction 4 ships go backwards. Uh, so he put all his engines facing forward, which is really interesting. So he's actually going to dogfight with a Faction 4. I don't think we get to see that very often. Maybe not enough. I don't know. It's pretty cool. So, but he's still going to aim. Got to aim that gun. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought, uh, I thought Shades was done after he took that initial hit, but no, looks like he's had some time to repair some of those guns even, which means that Kel... Uh, do I risk actually trying to say this name? Kel... 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 I can't. I can't say it. Why do you do this to me? Why? Why? Oh, no! Uh, wow. You just kind of danced around until he kind of dropped his guard and then you, you shot him. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Well done, well done. We're seeing some, a lot of Faction 4 ships here. Surprising amounts of Faction 4 ships because we know that that Faction 4 ships aren't necessarily the best ships for the Battlecruiser competition. Um, a good Faction 1 ship will beat a Faction 4 ship if, if it's a good design almost every time. Just because Faction 4, at least I haven't seen a lot of really good sniper Faction 4 ships in the Battlecruiser competition. Maybe that's gonna change, I don't know. Uh, but this isn't a sniper ship. This is actually dogfighting um, with the big sniper gun, which is really interesting. I'm going to speed it up a bit just because we are, we'll be here till next Sunday. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, so he is uh, he's dogfighting um, and he doesn't actually have any rear firing engines, which is really interesting. Or he doesn't have any engines that fire uh, forward so that he can travel backwards, which is really interesting. Usually these sniper ships just kind of kind of dance at range. And yeah, that uh, and that's. Oh, oh, nice shot, but it's still brilliant. I, he actually dodged and did stuff that Faction 4 ships don't normally do. Unique, I like it. Look at that, Kelly Noodle, Zealot's Blade, Kellum Steel, look at that! It looks like a blade, it looks like a big old, it looks like a big blade. That's awesome, I love the look of the ship. Remember, we are voting on ships that you think look really cool or are unique or do something neat, you know, so make sure you include uh, your choices in the comments below you can pick one two or three try to put them in order and if you want to put the reasons why do if you don't don't that's fine um, it's just uh, we're gonna be handing out a couple prizes for the people that bring us really unique and cool looking ships uh, race okay so this I wasn't sure if this was supposed to be the right ship for the competition but it was the only one I could find of races that actually fit the bill in terms of the size so it looks like it's doing pretty well it looks like a runner um, and he's fighting NVIDIA Machini Machina Sin Acida Gule. Uh, that might be another language. I don't know, but uh, not a language I speak. <laughs> looks really cool. Looks neat. Looks like it's got little jaws on it. Looks like it might have been a, a ramming ship, maybe? Um, it definitely has some kind of point defense. It's launching a lot of drones. Uh, yeah, be it looks like it's got little jaws. I like it. But uh, against the runner, I don't think you're going to be able to keep up. So pretty much over... Maybe, maybe you can get him at the beginning here of the next battle. I'll slow it down to two here. Right at the beginning, you might be able to get him. Uh, no, because as soon as he gets away, that's it. It's over. Interesting. So the uh, the runners are... I, I'm surprised, actually. I don't think we've seen a lot of runners in the Battle Cruiser competition. Maybe we have. Maybe we did see some runners, but uh, pretty amazing. If you can build a runner at this stage of the competition, I mean, you pretty much have to build a ship that's all engines, which pretty much Race has done here. Uh, I'm not sure what faction that is. I can't tell. I can't tell from this distance. But uh, yeah, he's 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 built a runner um, in the battle cruiser competition, and you just don't see a lot of that. Same with the dreadnoughts because of the restrictions on weight. You have to have yeah, well on on P. You have to be using so many points. We actually haven't done a restriction on weight, and I'm not I'm not planning to do that uh, anyway. So who knows? Who knows? All right, where are we at? We're Audi Cook Me versus Heatstroke. <laughs> 
Uh, Adi Cookby, Adi Cookby has started to design a completely new asymmetrical type of ship. It's very different than what we've seen before. His ships used to be gray and blue, I think they were, um, and they looked kind of skeleton-like. These look, I don't know, totally different. And then we've got Heatstroke, who's a new competitor in this competition. Looks like he's all shields. A lot of shields. It looks like, it reminds me of um, Amazing's design from the last month's tournament, where he's all missiles and shields. Look at that. But he's not, he's not as maneuverable as, as, uh, as Amazing Ship. He's actually, the shields are going down. The shields are starting to go down, and Adi Cookney has enough engine power to dodge some of those shots, and it looks like he's, he's starting to penetrate pretty bad, or he was there for a second. Oh, yep. One shield goes down and two go back up. <laughs> I'm going to speed it up. Yep. I think, I think Adi Cookney is going to take it. Pretty sure, I don't think he, well, he's starting to penetrate all the way down to the bloody core, the underbelly. Oh, there he goes. He steals it. Very nice. All right. Uh, can he do it again? Can, can he stroke actually get a shot in and start to penetrate? It looks like Adi cooking has got some shields on his ship too. Uh, hard to tell just because of the coloration. Yes, there is definitely shields. Uh, maybe just on one side. I don't know. He might've had shields on the other side too, but uh, looks like that one might have gone down already. Uh, it doesn't look like Adi cooking is taking well, it's starting to take a little bit, but not enough to actually uh, hurt him that bad. But uh, definitely, Heatstroke is taking a whole crap ton. Yeah. yeah. Well, good try, Heatstroke. All right, so we're on to Phallic Menace. We Phallic Menace, which looks like a infected member. <laughs> Does not look healthy. Anyway, yikes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who are you fighting? Uh, wow. Uh, snipe Johnny Farrell Battle Cruiser. Oh, no. You lost half. Okay. You can't turn left. No, you can turn left. You can't turn right. No more turning right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Those uh, those engines. The nice thing about those engines is it looks like they can take a lot of damage, but... Ah! Uh, oh. Yikes. Okay. Snipe got it. What? Wow. He does have a lot of guns in there. If they, if they can actually hit... Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Took out all of We Felt Like Menace's guns. I don't think We Felt Like Menace has any guns left. He does have some drones still on him. <gasps> Jesus. <laughs> he can still move. Like, he's, he's a lot lighter without all those nasty guns weighing him down. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, yeah. But the drones may actually just... If they just keep pummeling, then it could be over. Because there's if, he has no point defense, or those guns are not acting as point defense at all. Um, so we're just, you know, either we felt like Menace has got to rebuild some guns or just wait it out and wait for the drones to do their thing. Because they are taking out the shields. They are applying damage. Um, very slowly, mind you, but they are applying damage. Uh, I just don't know how long it would take to get through all that Faction 1 armor. Because that Faction 1 armor can be pretty brutal. And notice that, you know, if I was flying one of those drones, the reason they're called drones is because, you know, they'd, you'd think they'd be like computer... Oh, Snipe Feral won it! Wow. Well done. Yeah, the drones just, they're not smart enough to get in there and shoot the right spots. I'd be shooting, you know, in between those uh, pieces of armor. Anyway, so here we go. We've got uh, Dar, yep, it's a cannon versus Battle Cruiser number one Reven. Now, uh, number one Reven kind of got knocked out pretty quickly in the gunship competition. Oh, no. Oh, wow. And again, again. Wow. So interesting. So it's a Faction 4 ship with lots of armor in the front. I, I, are we seeing a lot of Faction 4 here because, um, because of my playthrough, I wonder? I don't know, lots of people playing Faction 4, 4 with me, and that's cool, but it's interesting. You know, the Faction 4 with a little bit of armor up front does really well. So, I don't know, I think it was Camel 5. Actually, I think Camel 5's Faction 4 ship actually did win the cruiser competition last time. I'm not sure. I don't exactly remember, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure his battle cruiser won, the, and maybe that's why we're seeing all the Faction 4. It has nothing to do with me. It has to do with the winner of these tournaments. So, where are we? I don't even know where we are. Oh, there we are. Uh, Horizon Dominicanator versus Lead Drops of Energy. So, you see that Dominicanator? I can say your name now. Dominicanator. Until next week when I forget to say it and I have to keep repeating it in the bathroom before I do the recording. I didn't actually do that, but it sounds like a good idea. Um, versus Lead Drop of Energy, version 0 .09. So, you're working up to version 1. Yikes. Uh, Dominicanator has a lot of missiles. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Aside from that, I can't tell what's on the ship. It's all black. I think that's all armor, but uh, really, uh, you're, just, you're just applying a lot of damage at close range. Oh, he's got some uh, proton beams, I think. Beams, maybe? I think those are proton beams. 
Oh, no, they might be uh, burst lasers. No, they're burst lasers. Yeah, totally burst lasers. And uh, maybe some defense lasers. I don't know. Couldn't tell. When it's all that same color, it's hard to tell. All right, so we've got, oh, the sniper ship. We are on to the next level of competition. So this is amazing versus a sniper ship. Uh-oh. Amazing. Wow. Taken out that quickly. Those drones. If those drones have had, have had a chance to get close enough, I don't know. That is a... A pure sniper ship. We haven't seen many pure sniper ships in the uh, in the battle cruiser competition. So, ah, interesting, uh, amazing. I don't know. I don't know, dude. This might be this might be it. I like your ship. It's very purple and green. It shocked me when I first saw it. Oh, the drones! The drones are hitting. <gasps> it won't take much to take out that gun. Oh, oh no! Oh, can he do it? Can he do it? Look at it. Uh, the drones are hitting direct head-on. Can they tear through that gun? I don't know. I just don't know if they can apply enough damage. I think he's actually killing the drones fast enough. Wow! I didn't know Amazing had whatever he just shot. What how, What did he just shoot at him? Oh, and he is a Faction 4 too as well. Holy snot. I had no idea. I couldn't tell. The color configuration was totally messing me off. Now I see it clearly. It is a Faction 4 modular gun. Crazy, but uh, yeah, you got beaten by a pure sniper ship. Crazy. Uh, this is a sniper ship from Zy Cruiser or Exciter. Exciter's uh, the previous winner of the Dreadnought competition, I think, last time. You did very, very well. I love your colors, Exciter. Really well done. And you are facing Sir Boomalot, who usually designs very fast, highly maneuverable ships. Could it be that Faction 4 is going to start dominating um, the cruiser competition as well? Wow. Look at that. Look at Exciter. Look at how maneuverable. Uh, Exciter ship is. Um, that is really awesome. We are seeing some really interesting, unique Faction 4 ships. Although, um, all of them using the modular gun, just still, you know, it still looks cool. It still looks really cool. Oh, there we go. Sir Boomlot. Sorry, dude. Um, you got eaten by Faction 4. <laughs> uh, really crazy. Uh, Faction 4, I just, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Those lasers right in the front. Uh, nice design choice, anyway, Exciter. Sorry, it's your room a lot. Um, guess that's it. Uh, Camel 5 versus Rip Dragon. Camel 5 is the previous winner of the Battle Cruisers, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure he was the one that won the last one. But he's getting chewed up. Look at this. Camel 5 has actually lost half of his ship. Um, Rip Dragon, could you? <gasps> oh, you were doing so well. Now you have nothing left. Oh, bummer. Oh, Camo. Jeez, well done. Well done, Camo 5. Um, you almost lost there. You did take... Oh, jeez, look at that. That gun is just so brutal. So brutal. Oh, man. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> well done, Camo 5. Well done. Sorry, Ripley. Okay, Ethan the Shrimp versus Troy Class Annihilator. Uh, a lot, a lot of missiles coming your way, Ethan. But you've got a little bit more maneuverability, I think, and some nice big guns to go along with that. As long as you can keep dodging, you... Well, I don't know. Might be a pretty fair fight. Look at this. Uh, points 161 to 129. And now Biothief is at a nice range for dodging, but not a very good range for applying damage. Um, right. Troy Class Annihilator has... I think they're uh, the shotguns, maybe? Something like that. Something that shoots these spreads, right? Uh, really good for point defense, I think. Seem to be taking out the missiles very, very effectively. Um, well, no, he's actually taking some damage. Oh, no, that's... Oh, no, no. Truckless Annihilator is actually applying some damage. Looks like Biothief is not quite dodging as well as he could. I'm going to speed it up a bit. Uh, just because uh, it's going to be a lot of circling each other. <laughs> Didn't we see this fight already this year? I'm pretty sure we saw this fight already. Pacquiao? Pretty sure. <laughs> uh, okay, so it looks like uh, looks like Troy actually he's doing very well. I looking at his ship, I would have said he would have done okay, but I didn't think he would actually do as well as he's doing. He's doing quite well. Um, looks like those are shotguns. I don't know what kind of weapons he's using on there. I know he's using the one weapon that shoots in all directions at the same time, but he hasn't actually used that in this particular fight. And Ethan, of course, is just really big guns. Um, I just I don't know. Ethan, you're missing something. Maybe you need more engines on there. Because if you can't get closer, even no matter how big your guns are, if you can't get close enough 
to use them effectively, it's not going to serve you well. Or you need to apply or uh, use more missiles or something. I don't know. Like, you are hitting. On occasion, you actually are hitting. You're hitting more this time than you did last time. Maybe it's just the rhythm of the turn. Look at that. You are actually hitting. You were doing quite well there for a minute. Um, the missiles... God, the missiles weren't getting in, though. You were, you were applying damage with rail guns or something, but... All right, Shaky Box versus Lapaps now. I still like saying his name, Lapaps now. Extremely painful addition of the Veiled Piercer. Oh, he's got some uh, proton beams. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no, Shaky Box. Oh no, ow. Yikes. Oh wow. Oh, ah, that's gotta hurt. Oh no. Uh. Oh, oh, Jesus. What are those? Proton beams or proton swords? I can't tell because there's a lot of uh, bright on the inside of his ship. I think those are proton beams. I'll know. I think if, if yeah, I think he has to be facing, which means they're proton beams. But uh, yeah, a lot of damage very quickly there. But Shaky Box kind of still kicking. Um, he's definitely taking some damage. Uh, Lapaps now's done 4,800, almost 5,000 points of damage. Oh, wow! A couple more good hits in there. Yikes! Oh no! That even even at 90% of your engines gone though, Shaky Box, you're still you can still dodge. It's amazing. Um, you have enough engines on that ship. That is for sure. Oh, uh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, kind of a spinner, sort of. I don't think he's got any weapons left though. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm surprised actually. You lasted way longer than I thought you were gonna last after you took those first few shots and knocked out half your ship. So, at least you didn't die immediately. That's good, right? Okay. Ah, uh, those first few shots with the laser are dangerous. Ouch! Careful! Ah, uh, looks like Shaky Box has the same kind of lasers. Oh, wow. I think he's got proton proton swords on there. Oh, <gasps> wow! Oh, look at Shaky Box might recover here. Wow, well done! Didn't expect that. Wow, did not expect that at all. Okay, Shaky Box, can you pull it off? I don't know. So very similar ships, except Shaky Box should be dodging better than he is. Uh, the AI just isn't... Ah! It's like, don't... No! <laughs> uh, maybe it's because he's trying to balance uh, aiming his own shots. And as he tries to aim his own shots, he kind of gets nailed by lap apps now. Look at that! Oh, no! Oh, God! <laughs> Sorry, I just I just envisioned being in, sh in Shaky Box's ship trying to fly it. Ah, just crazy. Well, good, good, good fight anyway, Shaky Box. Better than, than the... Uh, uh, gunship competition. Anyway, lap apps now. Good job. You're on to the next round. Nuclear Frazzle by Derpy versus Sunny Set, who has surprised everybody. His ships don't look like they should be doing as well as they do. It reminds me of... Oh, what game is it? Maybe it's a movie. Wow. Derpy won by nuking. Uh, Derpy won by nuking. Right. Watch out for that nuke. How do you, how do you prevent that? If you don't have point defense, that nuke will kill you. So I'm just watching the nuke. Wow. Wow. Uh, Derpy is, 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 is the dark horse here. Surprising. That nuke is surprising. Okay. Maybe maybe nukes are going to start to make a comeback too because, uh, wow. Okay, so we've got a runner. Looks like he's a runner anyway. The Claw Mark V, the awesome guy. Uh, interesting looking ship. Looks kind of uh, Klingon-y. I'm not sure what happened there. Versus Terran Acid Rain. Sorry about that. Had a little bit of a... Uh, a technical glitch, uh, but it looks like uh, the claw, awesome guy, won it. Ah, here we go. So the great cat's pee. Oh, this is awesome. I love it. I'm a cat person. So when I first saw this, I saw the great Gatsby, which I thought of the book, right? Um, but then I saw it and that is amazing. How long did it take you to make that? That looks so cool. Oh, that looks awesome. Well done. Again, I want to remind everybody that uh, we're voting on the winners of the aesthetics part of this competition. There's only a few prizes to give away for each each each, uh, each tournament, but uh, I would be voting on the Great Catsby just because I think that is super cool. Now, if it wins fights as well, you got to hand it to him. That is amazing. How long did that take? I, I I can't imagine. I mean, I can I. There's been times where I spend hours and hours and hours and hours and hours building one or two ships. I mean, you guys know it from my videos. Like, I know they're sped up, but some of these ships that I build take hours, and that's just with a rough idea without anything specific in mind, like something like this. So, you got you got to give them credit. And I I'm not sure who the designer is. Um, 
Uh, but definitely worth noting. The Great Catsby? That is so cool. <sighs> wow. Incredible. I, you know, it's, I, a lot of the really good uh, artistic designs come from Faction 1. Not all of them, but some of them come from Faction 1. Uh, just because I think you've just got such a variety of blocks, you can sort of do just about anything. Uh, failure videos, you are taking a pummeling. Or sorry, you have, sorry, you are applying a pummeling. My, my bad. Uh, I don't think uh, the Great Catsby is going to be the winner of the fight. Just because Failure Videos is a runner. And he's doing what he does best, and that's run. And of course, the Great Catsby, I don't think you had beating ships in mind. Um, although, it's not a terrible design. <laughs> the cat's eyes shoot lasers. <gasps> that is awesome. That's great. Oh, that is awesome. That's fantastic. But I don't think you're going to win the fight. Uh, so yeah, I, you would get my vote definitely. 100% you would get my vote. You would be number one in my book so far for the most unique and interesting design. Uh, you've designed a cat face in reassembly. I mean, really, how great is that? Okay, so we've got Saber Class Destroyer, Destroyer with a Velociraptor versus Habanary Carry. Modifier Habanary Carrier, which is a drone ship it looks like with a lot of Faction 1 heavy guns. And Saber Class Destroyer, which is a Faction 7, using that curved armor design, which I love. Faction 7, I think. Uh, pretty sure. But anyway, uh, yeah. But he's still applying a lot of damage. Both of you applying a lot of damage. Holy crap. Wow, look at the damage happening here. So both, it's usually you see a lot of damage from one side or the other. Not a lot of damage on both sides. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Look at that. So it looks like Modified Havanari Carrier has actually applied more damage. He's got some of those big, heavy Faction 1 weapons, whereas uh, Saber Class Destroyer looks like is a Faction 7 with some heavy guns too, but uh, not as not as heavy as those Faction 1s. Look at him. Just rip. He's, he's, he's burst through that armor now, and it looks like he's going right into the core of that ship. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. 17,000 versus 11,000 damage. Like Those are high numbers to have it on both sides. Of the field here that's that's pretty incredible pretty incredible i'm gonna speed it up just a touch just because they're quite a ways away and uh I'll slow it down as we get closer here here we go uh it looks like look at look at that motivate he repaired almost all of his damage too that is crazy oh there it goes oh 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 not it oh we got him got him from behind which means he took out all of his engines he's pretty much a sitting duck now there's not much he can do oh well good job good job having air carry all right, so we've got Dread SS Gamer NATO. Oh, Gamer NATO! Oh, right on! Whoa, a big single shot modular cannon. Look at that! I bet you it does tons of damage. Is that a modular cannon? I'm pretty sure. Whoa! Look at that! Oh, that's awesome! And Blade uh, looks like a really well balanced ship, but oh my god, that's like a big nuke. That's, he put all of his modular gun power into damage, it looks like. Look at that. There's nothing else on his ship. It's just the big gun. That is awesome. Neat design. Again, Faction 4. Crazy. Seen a lot of Faction 4 here. Blade. I would love to see you get closer and see what you can do. Looks like you've got some... Uh, I'm not sure... Is that Faction? I'm not sure what Faction... Oh, oh, that's... Uh, you've got the shotguns on there. The, they do little spreads. Uh, it would be cool to see you get closer. Uh, so you, that's a Faction 2 ship. Interesting. It's a very unique looking Faction 2 ship. I think it's Faction 2. Um, but yeah, those 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 little twin twin guns there in the front, those are uh, little shotguns that fire little spreads. So it would have been cool to see you get closer, but I don't know. He's It's a typical sniper ship with an untypical gun. It's not a stream. It's a big, big, big heavy damage shot. So it'll be interesting to see that later in the competition. I don't think it's going to be maneuverable enough, but he sure has the aim. Look at that. Well done. Excellent job, Gamer Nato. All right, so Blackhawk versus the Awesome Will. Awesome Will. Uh, and, of, of course, his troll ship. Uh, you know, he, the Awesome Will chose a really interesting design for his troll ship in the first round uh, with all the guns right in the front because that's usually where the ships land when they attack. This time he didn't do that. He kind of spread his guns a little bit better around the ship. I don't know if that's a better choice or not, but, you know, coming from the side is, is dangerous, right? Look at that. Because if he gets any... Well, oh, he's got that sweet spot. He can actually apply a lot of damage to the Awesome Will at that range. 
Oh, get in there. Oh, he almost had it. All he's got to do, he's almost at that core. Almost. Oh, man. And the almost and Will is, of course, repairing all that damage. Oh, no. Oh, there it goes. Beautiful. Well done, Blackhawk. I'm really impressed. Really impressed. Taking out that uh, troll ship. Excellent. Oh, took, look out. He took out all those, a lot of those drone launchers right at the beginning there. That's a bad place to sit, uh, Blackhawk. You're never going to get to the core that way. And look, he's just getting pummeled by drones. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, you just gotta, you, the AI has to kind of get turned around and kind of go along the side like that. There he goes. Look, he took out all those drone launchers too. That's a good sign, except he's kind of in range of those other guns now. I don't know. Can he pull it off? He's got to move over a little bit. Uh, he is taking out those drones, but very slowly. I don't know. I don't know. That's a bad spot to be too, because he's getting pummeled by the other guns too as well. Yeah, if he gets along the side there like he did before, he might be able to pull it off. Those drones, man. Those drones, look at that. He's applied way more damage overall, but what is what is he doing? Why is he staying at range? He's trying to use just missiles now. He's changing his tactics. I love the AI. The AI is amazing. How it changes tactics? No. Oh, no. He's just going to get... Re oh, yeah, it's over. It's over. Wow. Okay, so we've got the Kel Calcetium Cannon versus... Uh, Zealot's Blade, Kellum Steel. Uh, I love this design too. This this would definitely get a vote from me. It looks really cool. It looks like a blade. I, I you gotta you gotta love that, right? And look at the green. I like the green too. That's really neat. And you are facing a faction four streamer. Doesn't see it doesn't even do half the damage of the uh, that big gun that we saw last time. But it is you know it's just but he doesn't have to aim. That's the thing. You can just kind of do a stream and then just cover a wide area. Look at that. Beautiful. It's it's beautiful. It is an amazing thing. Uh, unfortunately, Callum Steel, unless he takes out enough of that weight, and you you know because he takes off so much weight, you're able to actually speed up and and get him. But I, I think you've lost all of your all of your engines that allowed you to move forward are now gone. Uh, all you have is side firing engines. We're just gonna speed this up because I think the inevitable is about to happen. <laughs> Lots of action four. Look at that. There we go. Uh, took out the one side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Callum. Well, you still may win in the aesthetics part of this competition. You know, there may, pe may be people that vote for you. Um, I know I would throw a vote your way for sure because it's it's cool looking design. Um, but in terms of damage, it looks like Kel Kelsetium Cannon has got you right where he wants you. <laughs> well done. Yeah, we'll just speed that up. You've lost all your engines. You're, you're pretty much done. Ah, it's too bad. It's too bad. Almost looked like he was trying to sharpen you, but it didn't quite work. Okay, so we've got uh, Race versus Audi Cook Me in percentage. Notice, oh, I get it. Audi Cook Me, sorry, it took me a second. I'm sorry, I'm slow. Your ship is shaped like a percentage sign. I get it now. I'm sorry. I, you, you, your gunship was also shaped like uh, like an S. I think it was an S, and that's was the name of your ship. That's why your ship is named Percentage Sign. I'm sorry, I was so slow on that. Uh, Should have. Should have caught on to that sooner. Looks like Race is just running. Oh, well, he was just running. For some reason, he stopped running. I don't know why. Uh, Race could just uh, outrun you, but he's, he's not. He's actually just going to... He's dueling you for some reason. It looks like he got to get away with it. He's applying tons of damage. Oh, nope, that's it. I think that's over. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Yeah, see, he kind of run, runs at the beginning, and then he uh, decides he's going to dogfight you. Maybe once you've, he's taken out your shields or something. I don't know. The AI does funny things sometimes. Oops, didn't mean to go that slow. All right. Awesome. Yeah, look at him. He's, the, yeah. Audi could be. I love your designs, man, but it's... it's you, you're not going to be able to defeat Race. Uh, he's using the old uh, bees tactic of launching drones and just dodging perfect all right so we are on to Der dapper yep it's a cannon so yes it is a cannon it is a faction four cannon with lots of them look at that it's not a stream it's just lots of individual shots whoa <laughs> i that's i you don't expect that from that ship it is, it says, I mean, it's a snipe ship. It fires all those guns at once, so it looks like a big Faction 4 gun, but it's not. 
This time you've lost your ability to aim, which might be a bit of a problem. Unless you get close enough for him to fire those cannons, because they don't need to aim. Well, I mean, they, they're a turret, right? Oh, there you go. Just like that. Well done. Okay, so we're on to... Wow, this is, this is a long tournament. Wow, man. Holy crap. Okay, so we're on to Cobra Gunship Insane Gorilla versus Malcraig Zol Battlecruiser. I love that name. Malcraig Zol Battlecruiser. I love it. And Cobra Gunship, which is uh, Aldervan, like a crystal faction. Wow. Wow. Well done. I I like effective crystal ships, and I think it's just a matter of putting enough engines, and you've definitely got enough engines on there to keep up with them. Look at that. He's trying to do the same thing that Faction 4 ships, and that's, uh, you know, snipe you, which is really interesting. So he's dueling you head on, um, but uh, you do you do slight you do more damage than he does, and of course because you're crystal faction, your 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 blocks can take a lot more hits. That's all. So we've got Scarlet Finger Legs versus Horizon Dominicanator. Dominicanator. <laughs> uh, ooh, Scarlet Finger Legs looks like a spider. Look at that. It looks like a little uh, looks like a little beetle or a ladybug or something. That is cool. You would get a vote from me, sir, for doing for creating such an interesting looking design. Is that ever cool looking? That looks really neat. That looks really cool. I don't think you're going to win the fight, though. It looks like uh, Horizon is uh, applying way more damage. Uh, we're actually going to speed it up a little bit because this, is, this has been a long tournament. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, he's... Oh, oh, maybe he might make a wrong move here. No, wow. Wow, figure legs stole it from you. He must have something, he must have hit you really hard at point blank there. Just all those missiles at once, hitting you all at once, probably did it. Uh, I can't tell how much armor is left on Horizon because it's all that black. Oh, he's got some, he's got some proton beams in there too. So that, that explains some of the brutal damage at close range. Wow, well done, Scarlet Finger Legs. So those two proton beams at the front there, they're like uh, little mandibles. You do look like a little beetle or a spider. That's very cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, looks like, yeah, you got it. Well done. Sorry, Dominicanator. It looks like you're out. Um, we're down to the fighting for the final eight. So we've got Zy Cruiser versus, whoa, two snipers. Two snipers. Okay, uh, I'm going to let my cat out the door. Just give me one second. There we go. Sorry about that. She was scratching at the door. All right, so we've got two snipers. We're just gonna speed this one up because, uh, really, it's all about getting that pot shot, right? Who's gonna get it? So we've got Zy Cruiser versus Sniper. Sniper is a pure sniper. Zy Cruiser is looking like a little bit of a, a modified sniper, but uh, he was very effective in his first fight. And of course, I blob touch can't beat that simple sniper design. Really light, really maneuverable. But what do you do when you're facing a sniper? That's identical to you. I guess you just get that one shot in, just like you did. Ah, good job. Woo! Uh, Zy nobody took any damage this time. So, I don't know. It's a, so If nobody takes any damage, the ship with the most hit points wins, which would be Zy Cruiser. He is a bigger ship, I think. So, I guess if it, it would be one-to-one. -one. So, all, Zy Cruiser's just going to count on the fact that uh, Sniper's not going to get a shot in. Zycruiser still could get a nice shot, and he's, uh, oh, oh, no, Sniper hit him. Oh, and Sniper steals it from you. Sorry about that, Exciter. You're out of this one. And we're on to Camel 5 versus the Troy class Annihilator. <laughs> wow. Uh, Camel 5. Uh, Camel 5. Wow. Yeah, there goes a uh, good portion of his ship is gone. Um, I think it's just a matter. Oh, Jesus. This is not even pretty. Honestly, it's not pretty. <laughs> Clean up in aisle six. Uh, yeah, that's, that's that's insane. Okay, look at that. Oh, crush. <laughs> oh, Camo 5. Uh, brutal. It's a hard ship to beat. Okay, so we've got Lap Ups now versus Nuclear Frazzle, Derpy. So, uh, yeah, Derpy and his Faction 7 nuclear ship. There goes one nuke. He launches that first nuke immediately. So you got to watch that. Look, there goes, there goes... Oh, just a mist. I love to watch the nukes go off just because... Oh, wow. Took out the front end with that one. 
He may still have nukes in the air that we can't see from this angle too. So you gotta watch out. Oh yeah, oh wow. Yeah, see here comes the nukes. <gasps> There's three of them in the air and behind them. All they gotta do is turn around and they're in trouble. Oh, of course, lap ups now. I want you to do well here, but oh no, those nukes are actually shooting at you too. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, here it comes, no, no. Oh, so close. Oh, uh, Derpy, that's actually a really nice design. It's, it's not dodging as well as I would hope it would dodge with that many engines on it. I think it's just the way that they're placed on the ship. They're just, he's not, oh, but it doesn't matter. If you win fights, who cares? Who cares whether or not your engines are in the right spot or not? Because <laughs> uh, all it takes is one nuke. Here it comes, here it comes. Wait for it. Oh, no. Oh, so close. Oh, yes. Okay, uh, lap apps now. I'm kind of rooting for you for the second round here. Knock out a couple of those engines. Slow them down. Teach him a lesson. Oh, no. Oh, that nuke's right behind you. Look out. No. Nuke. Crushed. <laughs> Failure videos versus awesome guy, the claw mark. Five. All right. So, uh, of course, failure videos is a runner claw. I uh, took out those shields very quickly. B drones. Look at that. Look at that. This is the first time we've seen a chink in failure videos armor here. Um, this is the first time we've seen the inside of a ship because it's the first time a shields has gone down. Wow, crazy. Wow, well done. Awesome guy, well done. I am very impressed. That was, uh, that was pretty remarkable. Um, failure videos for a runner. He's not moving fast enough to dodge all those bee drones. Those bee drones are just ripping him apart. Look at that. Wow, oh my god, oh no, there you go. Oh no, and look at, look at the inside of uh, failure video ship. What an interesting design. All the engines, oh, the, just the way you had them placed on that ship is amazing. Very cool. Uh, you did very well up to this point. Um, yeah, no, that ship is no slouch. Okay, the Dread Gamer NATO. So this is the big, big, big Faction 4 gun that does a lot of damage in one shot. The problem is, oh, you just can't apply it fast enough to look at all the damage. That modified Havanari carrier. Oh, that's not a modded ship. I think it just meant modified. I don't think it's modded. I don't think so. I'll be checking it either way. Um, but yeah, well done. Yeah, it's not modded. That's just a regular faction one. Yeah, it's that that ship is doing it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Gamer NATO. Gotta be careful when you call things some, something called modded or modified because we're in a competition where modded ships aren't allowed. I'm sure it's not, but I guess I'll check it. Um, you sure do a lot, a lot of damage uh, very quickly there. Wow. Impressive. Okay, so we're on to uh, the Awesome Will versus Kelechium. Kelechium, I think. Um, so here we've got a troll ship versus a faction four ship. We don't see this very often. Um, so Kelechium has just got to stay at a certain range and yeah, not do what he just did. Right, he's in the, he's a faction four ship that, uh, <laughs> that tries to dogfight, but how do you dogfight with a troll ship? He, troll ship just doesn't play that game. <laughs> just he'll have nothing to do with that. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, that looks pretty cool. I mean, cuts a hole in him, that's neat. Interesting. It'll be interesting to see how the Faction 4 ships deal with the Awas and Will ship here. Uh, interesting, interesting battle. Uh, all right, so we're on to... Uh, where are we? Uh, Dapper, yep, it's Cannon versus uh, Race, which is a runner. We're going to speed this one up. Mm, oh, Race is just going to dodge here. Uh, looks like he's hasn't applied any damage yet, though. Uh, crazy. Oh, yeah, he's getting, getting a few points here, but it looks like... Yep, it's Cannon is, is actually applying more damage. When I think Race should be playing the game a little bit differently, or the AI should be playing it a little bit differently, it should be kind of doing the whole running technique in order to beat a Faction 4 ship. Um, looks like he's trying that now, but it might be a little too late. Yeah, because <laughs> uh, those missiles actually are just... There, there's no defense. I don't think Race has any defense against those missiles. I think that's a problem. All right, so we'll see. Can he do it again? Those missiles, yeah. At range? Look at them. They're just bang, 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 bang. Or maybe those are drones that are hitting them. I can't tell it's happening so fast. I think those are drones, actually, that are hitting them so hard. And then, of course, the modular weapons every once in a while. He's not applying enough damage to destroy the ship, but definitely enough to win the battle. Ooh, took out a chunk of them there, though. Okay, uh, speed it up just a touch. I don't want to mess with the physics too much, but uh, <laughs> uh, when they're at range like that, I, I just... 
I can't stand to watch it at slow speed. So yeah, I think I think uh, Dapper has got you there. All right, on to Cobra Gunship versus Scarlet Fingerlegs, which is a really cool design. Uh, again, getting a vote from me. Uh, I leave that to you, the community, to uh, vote up who you think should win the prizes for the most interesting, unique, pretty, fun ships, whatever you think. Um, and then we've got Cobra Gunship in a uh, crystal ship, which you don't see a lot of um, because they're really slow. And uh, they do have missiles, uh, they have access to missiles, but the missiles are usually really slow. And even their main weapons don't do as much damage as some others. But if you can get enough speed out of them, they're brutal because they're hard to destroy because those crystal parts just have so many hit points. So uh, can Scarlet Fingerlegs actually apply enough damage? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, I, if I were Scarlet Fingerlegs, I would try to keep as much distance from that thing as possible. But uh, interesting. So we've got a, a Cobra against a Spider. Interesting. Oh, he's starting to dig in a little bit. A little bit, but oh, once he starts... Oh, what happened there? Oh, well, that was weird. It's almost like he got bumped by something. Really bizarre. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, 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 oh! Gets in close. All of those uh, guns start going off. That's a problem. That's a serious problem. Oh, Scarlet, no! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you're still alive, though. You're still alive. Can you... Wow, you you cut him in half! Dude, you did it! You did it! I'm, I think you got him! There you go! Well done! Did not expect that. Nice comeback. Really well done. Okay. If you if you keep your distance, I think you're okay, but getting close like that, dude, look at that. Just that. Even though those, those main guns don't do as much damage as some, they still do a lot of damage. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Took out your shields. Took out your engines. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, you gotta kind of keep that range. Um, but yeah, you just keep pounding them like that, you'll get them. Um, either way, both very cool designs. I like Cobra Gunship just because it's a crystal ship and it's, uh, is not something we need see a lot of, so very cool. I Blob Touch Pure Sniper versus Camo 5. Already took out a chunk of Camo 5. Could Camo 5 be meeting his doom here? Uh oh. These drones, the drones are at him. Uh. Just a matter of aiming. <laughs> we'll speed this up a bit. Interesting. I, I, I Did we see a pure sniper in the last cruiser competition? I don't know. If we did, I don't remember a pure sniper doing so well. Maybe it did. I don't know. But I thought the battle cruiser competition, uh, although I think Camel 5 did win the battle cruiser competition, I think there was a lot of good competition that was in fact Faction 4 up to that point. So... Maybe Faction 4 is, is too tough for all categories. I don't know. Maybe we need to make a separate category that for all of the different uh, leagues, gunship, battlecruiser, etc. That uh, So have a set of tournaments that include and a set of tournaments that disclude or exclude. Um, and now, I don't know what the non-Faction 4 tournament is going to look like. The Dreadnought non-Faction 4 tournament? Is it going to be good? I don't know. I have no idea. Is it going to be a lot of dogfighting? I don't know. Is there going to be another faction that sort of stands out above the rest? I don't know. And that's why I question whether or not it's a good idea. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I think it'll be fun either way. I, I think it's going to be interesting. I think Camel 5's got you, buddy. Camel 5 has just beat you by points, and it's just those drones constantly hitting you. There you go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there. All right, so... Camel 5, it's the drones. The drones are beating Sniper. It's the balanced ships. Uh, balanced Faction 5, or Faction 4, is going to beat the pure Sniper. I don't think the, the Sniper, does he have drones? I don't think he has any drones or anything. I think he has some point defense, but that's it. Uh, all it would take is a couple good shots, really good shots, in order to take out Camo 5, but uh, once those drones catch up to you, I think it's, it's pretty much all over. Looks like it's, yeah, I don't know. Looks like the sniper does have some point defense here. Yeah, Camel 5. Good job. All right, so we are... Oh, this is the final four. So Camel 5 is officially in the final four. Congratulations, Camel 5. All right, awesome guy. The Claw Mark 5 versus Nuclear Tazzle, which has really surprised me. I did not think that that ship would do so well. Nukes. Oh, wow. Okay, so the awesome guy is a B-faction ship um, launching a lot of B-drones. 
surprising amount of bee drones. I wonder, yeah, there's a lot of bee drones here. Uh, the nuke is gone, and that's it. Oh, <laughs> Derpy is now a spinning ship, which is interesting. Uh, the drones are still pounding on him, though. Oh, you know, if the drones weren't attacking him, he might have done something creative, uh, spinny-wise. It doesn't look like... Uh, Ah, oh, I see. So the awesome guy ship has nothing but one sort of main gun, and then the rest are drones. So he is strictly a drone ship. That's really interesting. Uh, what an interesting design. I And to look at a ship, you'd think he had more main guns, but no, he just has that one uh, sort of main gun. That's it. Oh, oh uh, no, he's, he's got a couple. He's got a couple. He's, he's actually got quite a few little guns on there. I'm trying to see them all. It's hard to see them because of the colors, but... Well, sorry, Derpy. You made it quite far, actually. You did quite well. I, you, I, you get a pat on the back for that. Well done. All right, so we've got modified Havanari carrier, carrier, versus, of course, the Awas and Wills troll ship. Oh, I, oh, getting stuck there is not good. That's never good, no matter how much damage you do, because those guns just keep pounding away. They don't stop. Even if you have a, do a lot of damage, stopping at the beginning of a troll ship like that is just bad news. Because the drones continue to fire on you, uh, including those center guns. Now, if if he can get through into those guns, I don't know. He might... Oh, have an air carrier. Uh, yeah. No, that's it. The only way to beat these drone ships is to kind of come around and take them from the side. Or try to get on the side. And it's really it's the luck of the AI. It's the luck of the draw, right? Oh, I'll cut him in half. Oh, no. Oh, blast. The drones got you from behind. Oh, well. You put up a hell of a fight. That was That's a really good ship. I like the modified Heaven Air Carrier. It's a really good ship, by the way. Um, don't name it modified, because it makes me think that uh, it might be a modded ship. Just just for the record, uh, I'm not saying it is. I'm definitely not saying it is, because I don't know. But uh, if, yeah, just be careful what you're naming your ships, because, no. Just be careful. Uh, okay, so it's a... Yep, it's a cannon. Wins round one. Okay, and uh, Scarlet Fingerlegs. I would really like to see you make it to the next round, but uh, I, I like Yep, it's a cannon too. It surprised us all. Surprised me anyway. It's got that front armor, that Faction 4 front armor. Something you don't see a lot of. Well done. Uh, Scarlet Fingerlegs, I love the look of your ship. I hope people vote for your ship because it looks really, really, really cool. I like I like the cat design too. Very cool. Um, Camo 5, of course, versus the awesome guy. So this is the second last fight before the final I think uh, I have a feeling that the B drones are just not going to be enough Camo 5 he's just he's a master he's a master designer um, you have won a prize though awesome guy so even if you lose this oh, maybe you can get in there no 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 oh man that gun is just insane Camo 5 that, that gun is insane how do you make that happen that is that is some crazy stuff. Uh, we did see a chink in your armor earlier on from another competitor, but uh, since then, no. I, really brutal. That's brutal. How how many hours do you spend designing your ships, man? It's just incredible. All right, so we've got the Awesome and Will versus Dapper. Yep, it's cannon. <sighs> the only way, I don't know, he's got to get to the side or maybe stay at range. If he stays at that range, he might be okay. Look at all the damage he's doing. He's got enough to take out the... The, the drones there too as they come in the, he might he might have the answer here guys this might be it this might be the end of the Awas and Will Faction 4 blasted Faction 4 look at that there's uh, there oh he redrew the drones on the one side which is bad news for um, it's yep it's cannon um, but now he's on the side oh look he's doing all the right things he's getting around he's doing what I would do get in behind uh, take out those drone launchers and then get in behind. That's what I would do. So, and he doesn't have far to go to get to the core now. He's just got to keep firing. Yep. And he's, he's taking out the drones as they come in. I think he actually made 98, 100,000 points. He broke the 100k mark, guys. Unbelievable. Well done. And he's actually got you. That was him, Will. He got you, dude. Oh, you must be like, no. Oh, man. Oh. You must be freaking out right now. You must be totally freaking out. Like, how can he do that? But he, you know what? It's just he, he got around behind. You know, he's doing all the right things. The AI, you just don't know. The AI, 
I wish you could manage the AI. And I, I know the developer was originally talking about uh, making it so you could decide what your AI was going to do with your ships. Um, I'm hoping that's still a thing. I hope he's still going to work on that. Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh no! He got it! Oh, the awesome will! It's one to one. Wow, this is this is a good fight. I didn't expect that. Okay, so uh, it's anybody's fight here. It could be the awesome will against Camo Five, or it could be Yep, it's Cannon versus Camo Five. Who's it gonna be? I don't know. I'm putting my, I'm I'll put my money on Yep, it's a Cannon, but I don't know because all it'll take is one screw up. And if he takes out those drone launchers. Oh, it looks like he took out a couple. Oh, there they go. There goes the drone launchers. I think Yep, it's a Cannon's going to take it. I could be totally wrong. If he goes in too close, he could still screw it up. But uh, I think he'll take it now. He's just got to keep chewing on the side. <laughs> oh, the Awesome Will. I know the Awesome Will is watching right now. So, sorry, dude. <laughs> uh, it's not over yet, though. He has applied. Look at how much damage. 95,000. 100,000 points in damage. Oh, that's just nuts. I wonder if that's... A, I, is that a record for us? I don't know. On on the uh, on the tournaments, that's pretty close. 125,000. That's getting up there. That is a lot of damage. Um, that is a lot of guns, too. <laughs> wow. I didn't know you could fit that many Faction 4 guns on a ship. I'm going to have to check it. But, you know... Hey, I guess, I guess we're going to run out of time. Yep, it's a cannon wins it. Wow. Wow. Nice ship. There's a lot of Faction 4 guns, modular guns on there. There is a lot of modular guns. Now, the question is, can you beat... Oh, oh, God. Oh, Camo 5. No. Oh, Jesus, no mercy, man. For the win, modular guns. We may have to make another category just for battle cruisers. <laughs> oh, Camo 5, dude, dude. Okay, well, there you have it, guys. That is the battle cruiser competition. That was a lot of fun. We saw a lot more Faction 4 today. So. Before we make uh, a rash decision on whether or not we do an another category for Faction 4, keep in mind that there was just a lot of Faction 4 ships today. There was more than, than there has been ever, I think, in the Battlecruiser competition. Also, please leave your comments below on who you'd like to vote for to win um, the Aesthetics Prize, just a prize for making something cool and unique and, and fun. I'll tell you what I like. I mean, you can like whatever you want here. It doesn't matter. I like the Great Catsby because I just, I think it looks cool and I love the effort being put into designing a ship like that. And it's got lasers for eyes. It's got freaking lasers on its forehead. How awesome is that? Um, I like the Voyager. Of course, I like Star Trek Voyager, but I'm the only person probably in the room that likes Star Trek Voyager. Um, Callie's, uh, Callie Noodle's blade, it looks like it looks like a vibro blade from uh, 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 Shadow... Uh, I don't remember. Vibro, vibro blade. What did that come from? I don't know, but uh, looks really cool. It looks like a big sword. Um, we've got... Uh, who else had really interesting looking designs? Um, they're all really interesting in their own ways, right? Um, I really like the awesome guy's ship. I liked Amazing's ship. Amazing, I just like the colors. It did, I didn't even realize it was a Faction 4 right away. Uh, Cloud, look at all the little modular guns. Really cool. Like I said, we had a lot. Scarlet Finger Legs was an awesome design. It just looks really, really, really cool. Um, and uh, of course, yeah, you guys decide. I want you guys to decide. Excalibur looks really cool. Uh, failure videos. We didn't even know what was on the inside of that ship until later on, until we, until we saw chinks in the armor. So very cool. All you know, I want you guys to decide who you thought was the most interesting looking ships. You can do their own order, like do uh, one, two, and three, or you can just put one. You can give a reason, not give a reason, whatever. Um, and hopefully by the next competition, we're going to have some kind of voting system in place, uh, officials voting system in place to vote on who should uh, who should win that prize. Anyway, guys, that is it for the Battle Cruisers. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to have the Dreadnoughts up by the latest, hopefully the weekend. Uh, both Dreadnought competition, and then maybe we'll do the Physics Benders sometime in the middle of the week next week. But uh, the Dreadnoughts will have up for sure by next weekend, maybe even sooner. Who knows? Depends. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. <laughs>